Hi there, thanks for clicking on this video. David with Beyond the Blast Wars with you doing a comic book haul video. It's kind of a comic book haul. It's an auction that I won from a few weeks back. Brian Spaceboy227 uh, was on the Great Legends auction a few weeks ago and put up some really cool like first issues, um, but then also a Marvel book that I've been looking for for some time. And I got my hands on it, so I'm really excited about that. So I'm going to save that for last, uh, but I'm going to get started right away. So if you like comic books, if you like Star Wars, um, but if you if you like comic books, because that's why we're obviously here, but we're on a Star Wars YouTube channel, uh, whatever you like. If you like any of those things I just mentioned, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and uh, comment down below as we go through this. So I'm going to show a book, um, and then I want you to comment on it. So I'm going to show a book here, then I'm going to go down here, and then I'm going to come back up here. I might go back down here, but then I'll be back up here. Uh, I'm just trying to show you how I set it up. So, I'll, I'll, like I said, flash the book here, come down here, back up to you, and then we just roll on to the next one. So, I'm going to begin with uh, this book right here, Extremity Number no. 1. This is a really cool book. Uh, it's uh, story art and cover done by Darren Warren Johnson. And this is the series premiere. Um, and it's uh, just a really fascinating book. Main character, Thea, dreams, uh, not really for like a better life. But like once revenge, and it's a really interesting story. Um, I know I, I recognize Daniel Warren Johnson from uh, that Space Mullet story. Uh, Mike Spicer on here is the colorist, um, and it's just a really gorgeous book. Um, a lot of people will like describe this like it has like the intensity of of Mad Max. Um, so that's oh, I, I think a really cool observation about this book. But number one, and he was so kind, he even put the book in mylar for me. So that's pretty nice. Um, a really gorgeous cover that you saw there, and uh, you can really appreciate that one. So Extremity number one is the first book. Number two that I got in this uh, auction, and I love this cover as well. It's pretty simple. Uh, with uh, it's uh, Rucka and Fernandez teaming up for the Old Guard. Really nice book here. Greg Rucka on there. Art and cover by uh, Lindro Fernandez. Uh, and then we, I mean, we all know who Greg Rucka is. And and what's great is. He actually has written one of my favorite Star Wars lines out so far. Uh, Shattered Empire is a four-issue Star Wars miniseries that did great things. It was kind of like our first canon look at Luke Skywalker after Return of the Jedi. Made Forest Trees canon, so that was really cool. Um, he does that, but he's also known for his work with like Black Magic and Wonder Woman. Uh, Fernandez on this, he's known a lot for, I think, his Punisher and Deadpool stuff that he's worked on. But uh, it's really cool. It's a story of old soldiers, um, and it's like this, like really weird. It's not weird. It's fascinating. I, I use weird because like that's like a filler word for me. But uh, it's this great story of like immortality. But there's really like no explanation for it. So you follow um, uh, Andy and uh, some of her comrades through like this crazy story. But um, it's it's in the 21st century, and it's like this whole thing of like keeping like immortality secret. Uh, which is really fascinating. So I've read this issue, um, and then I've done some research online. I think I'm going to go and try and seek out more of this line. I find it really fascinating. I just like that cover, standing there with weapon in hand. Uh, pretty cool. Uh, the next cover that I have that I want to show you, I need. A, I feel like I owe you like some warning. Like If you're not 18, or if you're like 17 and younger, maybe, maybe like just forgive me, but this is a... Not a censored cover. Um, not like visually. Well, kind of. Um, it, it's a Scotty Young book. It's called Fuck Fairyland. I, I warned you. I, I tried to warn you about the language here. But uh, this is Scotty Young's image debut. <laughs> I love this character. This cover just giving you the reader the bird. Not just one, but two. And what's interesting about this is Scotty Young does the writing, art, the covers, um, and each of... Um, the issues of this first arc. This is the variant cover of that. Um, and so uh, Fuck Fairyland was like the slang term uh, they would use for the series. And so that's what we got is uh, the, uh, the variant there. So pretty cool. I like the colors. I'm a real big fan of like the Scotty Young look. I actually stumbled across Scotty Young within the last couple of weeks. He did some really sweet Star Wars covers. I have a Darth Maul uh, that he did. I had that Lando one that I showed off in a prior uh, haul video. If you actually go to my playlist, you can actually, it's on the thumbnail. Uh, I think it's called Huge Star Wars Haul. Uh, I actually had the Lando variant that Scotty Young drew 
uh, part of the thumbnail for that image. So definitely go check that video out. But love this cover, and I definitely would check this one out. I've had a lot of friends tell me about this run, uh, about this first arc, and uh, really thankful that uh, I was able to pick this up. Really cool book. Uh, next one is um, Curse Words. That's the name of the run. Uh, a lot of people are familiar with this one, um, but it's not like an inappropriate cover. Like, no swear words are need to be said here. And my probably my current favorite writer uh, is the one that writes this one, Charles Soule. And I'm a, to give you a little background, and I'm sure you picked this up if you know you realize that this is really a Star Wars channel. We do a weekly Star Wars podcast, and we do a lot of extra content. Um, so, you know, I, I got introduced to comic books, uh, during the Grant Morrison run on Batman to give you a little perspective. But when I really got into Star Wars books and that was after the Disney, uh, acquisition of Star Wars, Charles Soule has come on and done some Star Wars, has done the Poe Dameron run, got that launched, is on the Darth Vader current run, uh, the 2017 launch Darth Vader series at year one Vader. It's so good. And here's Charles Soule writing here with, uh, Ryan Brown, the art, Jace, uh, Jordan Boyd. Also there, this cover is the work of Ryan Brown. I just love this cover. Uh, man, just a guy and his bike. What more do you need, man? I feel like uh, JJ For Real out there would really enjoy uh, this cover. Uh, the Devil, the Devil's Devil, part one. It's an ongoing series by Soul, like I mentioned. Um, you know, I mentioned a lot of the Star Wars stuff that he's done, particularly Vader and Poe Dameron. He's also done a lot of stuff with Daredevil. Death of Wolverine is also what he's known about. Brown, God Hates Astronauts, uh, you know, that's kind of the, the thing lately that, um, you know, his name's attached to that uh, he touts. Um, and it's a great story about this wizard who appears in New York City, casting spells, getting rich quick, um, and thinks it's all great, but it, it, it's not. It goes wrong. And uh, Curse Words is this really great um, modern fantasy. I'm not really into magic. You know, I'm a Star Wars guy. I like science fiction. I like the idea that it, it could maybe be possible in our world. Like, a lightsaber isn't real, but is it? There's actually proof right now that a lightsaber could actually be a, a real thing. Um, you can't say that about Harry Potter. Like, no matter what you do, there's not going to be a flying broom. Um, but this is a book that I read, and I really enjoyed it. Um, I'm going to have to look into this more, this series more, Um because for once, I'm, I'm there reading magic and, and I'm into it, which is a real treat. So, Curse Words, like I said, number one, Charles Soule, Ryan Brown, Jordan Boyd, covered by Ryan Brown. Great book there. Um, few books in this haul. I'm just trying to spend a little extra time on it just to kind of give you uh, some reference point of what these books are. I feel like a lot of the books that I've, I've shown, I only got two left here to show. I feel like these are maybe common books most comic book readers are familiar, but if you're not, that's why I want to try and give a little bit, ba bit of background because uh, some of these books I didn't know about. Uh, I, I, I was bidding for books that I haven't mentioned yet, so that's pretty cool. I got to learn through this experience and read more stories. I don't think you can read too much, whether it's books or comic books, uh, reading is reading. And so uh, some new tales that I had no idea about, I learned through this, so I think that's pretty cool. Uh, I think it's an element of comic book reading that sometimes we don't think about. Uh, is the new stories. The, the, the risks you take by opening a book that you do nothing about, uh, you can walk away with a really cool story, uh, having been told, having been learned. This is one of the books I was looking at. Harley Quinn, number one, out of the rebirth. Take your eyes away from whatever you're doing and look at this cover. Because you, maybe you weren't watching my comic book haul so far, but you are now, because that's Harley Quinn, rebirth number one. This is a, a Dynamic Forces edition, variant cover by Jay Lee. Only 4,000 copies, and, and on the back here I have the uh, Certificate of Authenticity, which is always nice to have. Uh, but this is the uh, part of the DC Universe Rebirth, that Die Laughing, it's part one of three. Uh, written by Amanda Cor uh, Connor, Jim Palamodi, uh, oh my gosh, how did I just butcher that name? Uh, Palamodi, uh, Chad Harden does the art, and uh, it's a really great back, uh, welcome back, so to say, for Harley Quinn uh, on Coney Island. And um, it's, a, it's a fun book. I mean, this is one that uh, a lot of people are chasing. Maybe not this specific variant, um, but Harley Quinn was one of those that uh, had several different variants released. Uh, and some of the, a lot, <laughs> most of them turned out to be decent money books if you jumped on them early enough. So I was really excited to see this book uh, get thrown up on the auction. Um, so Brian Space Boy, thank you so much. Really enjoy this cover. Uh, you know, in, in some ways it's simplistic. 
I like how playful it is. I like a playful Harley. Um, there are maybe some more detailed variants, uh, some more detailed covers out there. Um, but to me, this one is pretty special, and it's in great condition. So uh, thank you to Brian for that. And I just want to mention the fact that uh, all these books that I've gotten from Brian, all in the Mylar, and like they're like double-backed. And, you know, Alex the Comic Hoarder uses a lot of Mylar. I know that uh, the Great Legend uses Mylar. Um, I'm pretty sure Kingdom uses Mylar. Um, I'm, I'm noticing more and more people using it. Um, you know, clearly Brian does too. So I think it's something that I'm going to have to progress to because I think it just makes the book pops a little bit more. The, col the colors kind of pop a little bit better uh, with the Mylar. Um, a regular bag and board kind of dims it. And so I think uh, because I like to present a lot of my books, I like to show them off. I think that's the way I'm going to have to go. Uh, this is the last book for this haul. And uh, before I show it off, I just want to remind you that uh, if you've seen a book that you like or maybe you saw a book that you didn't know much about, take a moment, comment down below while I'm showcasing this last book, and, and leave a comment, whether it's asking for more information or um, you just want to say, hey, sweet book. Give a shout-out to uh, Brian Spaceboy227, you know, Shout them out for having such a great um, auction grouping of books here that I was able to capitalize on and, and be the highest bidder for. This is the last book on this uh, auction haul. My goodness, it is a sweet one. Secret Wars number one variant signed by Greg Land himself. You know, and I'm looking at this book. It's it's in it's in good condition. The upper corner is a little banged, and I think he mentioned that on the auction. You know, I'm looking at it now, and, you know, maybe if I get it pressed, I think I could get um, I could get that out. I don't have a press, so I'm going to have to find someone who has that. Uh, but, like, other than that, and it's small. It's so small. Other than that, it's a gorgeous cover. And, and right now, especially in our comic book community, um, there's a lot of talk about Spider-Gwen right now. I know, like, the broader comic book community would love to see Spider-Gwen in an upcoming movie. Um, I think that'd be really cool. Um, but nonetheless, this is a Dynamic uh, Forces exclusive cover. It's one of 15,000 copies. Um, don't have the certificate in there, or it might be actually in between the two boards. I haven't opened this one up yet. I'm really considering on sending this to G uh, CGC. I'm actually going to go to um, I'm actually going to go to Wizard World uh, in February in St. Louis. I'm pretty sure I've talked. Um, Alex and the going with me. Um, I'm going to probably just bring this down there and, and, and hand this to CGC when I go down there. I, I'm thinking I can get a 9.4 on this. If I could get higher, that'd be super awesome. But I think as is right now, it's like a 9.4. Um, but I can be happy with that. But I love, obviously, you're seeing all the different heroes there on the cover. Beautiful Spider-Man front and center. You get Spider-Gwen up there in the top corner. Uh, the list of heroes really just go on and on and on. You get the Captain Marvel up there. Um, it's just, uh, any cover that you can bring in so many different characters, but not feel like one takes away from the other. Like, clearly, Spider-Man is prominent, um, and, you know, having read the story, of course, too. But I feel like every character here just looks really stunning. Um, and your eyes just, you get locked onto one, but then you're, you, you catch one out of your peripheral, and you have to go to that character, and you get locked on that one, and, you, and you're just bouncing all around this, this cover. It gives you eye candy for a, a solid several minutes, so uh, just soak that in there for a little bit longer. Again, the Secret Wars number one variant edition, Dynamic Forces exclusive cover, signed by Greg Land himself. And Greg Land has some, done some killer Star Wars covers that I've been able to pick up recently, and uh, just so psyched. That when this book came up, when, when, when Brian was reading this out loud, I was like, I have to get this book. So, like I said, Secret Wars, one variant, uh, pretty cool. Pretty cool book. And uh, that's going to do it. That's the last book uh, of this auction haul that I have. Thanks again to Brian for the auction. Thanks again for the great legend for hosting a killer auction. Uh, he does the auctions. Alex the Comic Hoarder does the auctions. I know that the New York Warriors is doing the auction. Uh, I hear there's a chance that the 9-2 crew could be doing an auction in the very near future. Um, and, and there's even more out there after that. So um, I try and catch them all uh, because that's the one way I feel like I can invest back in the comic book community. Um, you know, like I said, we do weekly Star Wars uh, podcast, And we talk all things Star Wars, including the comic books. 
And uh, the comic book community here on YouTube has been just so kind and so accepting of us and helping promote our channel. And we're about to close in on 300 subs. And when we get our 300th sub, what we're going to do is we're going to hold a contest. And it's going to be a contest for the comic book community especially. And wanting to make sure you, you show off you know, certain types of books and tell us about yourselves um, because we've had that opportunity to do with you. So thank you so much for clicking on this video. If you haven't already, give me a like down below. Give me a subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And be sure you check out our other videos in about five seconds. There's going to be a video here, here, and here, I think, that's going to pop up, and you'll be able to watch other comic book hauls I've done. I'll see you soon. <laughs>